Princess Catherine dazzles in embroidered Indian-inspired dress for New Delhi garden party. The Duchess of Cambridge was greeted with gasps of admiration as she attended a party to mark the Queen's 90th birthday in a stunning Indian-themed outfit in New Delhi. The nude in black patterned 3,000 pound skirt and top was by one of her favorite designers, Alice Temperley. And with her hair in an elaborately curled half up, half down style, she looked as pretty as a picture as she walked through the garden of the British High Commissioner's official residence. Kate wore a new embroidered Temperley London Delphia crop top and Delphia long skirt. The crop top plus maxi skirt is a new choice for Kate. From one fabulous frock to another, the Duchess of Cambridge hasn't disappointed so far with her Indian-inspired wardrobe, and of course, the Kate effect strikes for a second time. Kate's 2,990-pound monochrome outfit, which is actually a cropped top and maxi skirt cord, was the perfect choice for a glamorous garden party. The long beaded skirt carries opulent embroidery motifs of Indian chintz and lattice. Cut to a flattering ankle length, the skirt drapes effortlessly in a contemporary A-line silhouette, the firm says. Paired elegantly with matching mono box clutch and dazzling chandelier earrings, this is a another winning look. The Duchess was bothered by strong gusts which sent her Amelia Wickstead outfit billowing in the air and wrapped her hair about her face. Kate only just managed to hold the dress down and compose herself during the somber ceremony which honored the 70,000 Indian soldiers who died fighting for the British Army during the First World War. The Queen has previously advised Kate to attach weights to the hem of her dresses in order to avoid this particular embarrassment. Princess Diana also dazzled onlookers during her visit to India in 1992. Much of the small talk between the couple and some of the 2,000 guests drawn from the worlds of politics, business, and the armed forces and academia was about how she and her husband were enjoying their whirlwind trip to India. Kate also asked by party guest Professor Bulbadar James the secret to looking so trim. We said, how do you lose all the weight after having two kids? And she said, I'm running after my kids. The academic who teaches political science at Jamia Melia Islamia University asked her how she kept cheery through all the engagements. I asked her, aren't you tired of smiling? And she said, I'm just reciprocating. Everyone is so warm. They were both really gracious. She was so welcoming and warm. We told her, you look much better in person than in your photographs. On stage, William and Kate were asked to cut a birthday cake for the Queen with a sword, which William immediately asked to be handed to his wife, much to her obvious surprise. Afterwards, in a speech, William paid tribute to his grandmother, saying, Tonight, we are celebrating the links between our two countries. This is the first time Catherine and I have been to India, and we have been incredibly impressed to see just how much this great country is on the move, and how India's dynamism is matched by the warmth and welcome of its diverse people. I'm honored that we also have a chance tonight to celebrate a very happy milestone for the United Kingdom and for my family in particular. Next week, Her Majesty the Queen, my grandmother, turns 90. I am so grateful to all of you for turning out tonight to help us mark that occasion. The Queen is very fond of India, having visited this great country three times during her reign. And India, of course, is the biggest country in the Commonwealth, the family of nations to which she has committed so much of her life's work.